fogo. And welcome to another episode of Fishing with El Primo and your host, El Primo. Hey guys, today we're over here at the Shabana, Shabona State Park, Shabana State Park. I don't know how you guys pronounce it, but it's about 40 degrees. You're my nephew. Marco, say what's up. What's up? Yep. So we're going to see what we get, bass, crappie, or musky. Let's get it. Tip over. Woo! Yeah, I almost tipped over. I got a bunch of. I'm wet like a. How the hell? The one spot. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I almost wiped out there. It was like a truck that I went right on and over and got stuck and almost fell out. But as you can see, the day started pretty rough and uh, we're right here in the rain. Started raining on us, 20 mile an hour gusts, uh, 40 degrees, a little bit of snow, but we're out here. We're gonna catch some, you'll see. Duck. Oh, oh my God, I got a big bite, I missed it. Oh my Lord. Cast away from the shed, they're in the middle. There's a lot of weeds out there, so they're hiding. That's where they're gonna be hiding. It's too shallow, so they'd be in the edge. Maybe we had like a 70 degree weather or something, they would have been the edge. Got this walleye on a little uh, twist tail grub with a 1 8 jig orange color. Uh, they were out in the middle. There's about a big drop coming up, but they're right by the two feet drop where it's like about seven to nine feet in the weed beds. So they were coming off the bottom of the wet weed beds and he, he hit it off the bottom. <laughs> See you, Marcus. So we're gonna. Measure is supposed to be 18 inches here in this uh, lake for a keeper. He is pretty long. It's not bad at all, but man, you see the teeth on that thing? These things, man, they have huge teeth. I love these. These are good eating, by the way. If you do catch them, they're worth eating. They, they're delicious fish to eat. No, he's not. So. Got another walleye. And here's the second one I caught. I didn't, uh, I didn't have the camera on at the time. You see the little white spot right there? That's how you can tell they're walleye, not sawgye. And plus they look more of a solid color. You don't see much of the structural spotted green where you will see with the sawgye. Oh man, this guy got his mouth shut pretty tight. So yeah, I'm, uh, he's a good fish, man. But they're really good eating. As you can see, I'm having a little tough time. They got a real nice bite. This guy literally hit it pretty hard. I wish you guys would have seen it. Uh, I got him pretty far away. He kind of just sunk it down. And it was it was fun, you know? It's always fun, especially going through uh, all this rain and <laughs> this wind and hail and snow. It's good to catch him, you know? So, man, 
Right now, checking to see if it's uh, the size. Doing the voiceover because the wind was so bad, you couldn't really hear me. But no, nope, too small. I throw it right back. Ah, man, another thing too, when I almost fell in the water, it was, I got all wet, man. So I'm like miserable cold, but yeah, so those were the only two that we ended up getting that day, uh, or end up, I ended up getting that day. Uh, so man, I was like I said, I was cold, I was wet. So we had to go, man. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, drop down a lake by the Chicagoland area. You guys want me to fish? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell.